Hi Pisces, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading, Pisces, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading, Pisces. So at the bottom of the deck, we have the Ten of Swords, and this is Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius Energy. So this is an energy showing an ending, a breakup, um, a separation, even possibly a betrayal here. It's a very painful ending with this energy, but it's almost like an energy of the worst that could happen has happened, and um, we can only move forward from here. The, the Ten is an ending, it's a completion. Okay, so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about this. Um, Pisces. So we have the Four of Pentacles, Earth Energy. Next, you have the Six of Cups, Water Energy. And finally, we have the Moon, Pisces Energy. So you could be dealing with another Pisces or even a Cancer. Okay, so with the Four of Pentacles here and the Ten of Swords, it does look like someone who you broke up with or you had a breakup with of some sort. Um, this could have been in the past with the Six of Cups, but this person is still holding on to you this could be energetically or they could literally be still be holding on to the idea of winning you back or having another chance here um this is someone who though there's there's a lot of doubts here a lot of feelings of insecurity when it comes to you um but they still miss you they reminisce about you feeling very nostalgic but this is in secrets this is someone who's not making it known to you that they still want you that they don't want this ending that they they, they still feel like you're theirs, you know, with the Four of Pentacles there. But with the Moon, it's like they try to hide these feelings. They don't want it to be known that they feel this way. In fact, this person feels overwhelmed, even possibly burdened by their emotions here. Um, but their feelings for you run deep. And, um, you know, it's like they have doubts about the fact that you guys could ever reconcile again. But they, there's, a part, there's a part of them that wishes that you could. With the Six of Cups, it's like they feel like you're their soulmate or they, they feel like you guys have a past life connection here. And they, you have a hold on this person. This is how they feel. Even though they don't really want that to be the case, they feel like you'll always have like their heart in some way. Okay, so let's clarify these cards, Pisces. So at the bottom of the deck we have the page of wands and this is fire energy sagittarius aries your energy so this is an energy of someone who's reaching out so this person could be reaching out to you trying to communicate with you trying to re-spark something here but it's like a very casual uh, reaching out here they may just come in and um almost under the guise of wanting to check of how you check up on how you're doing um very casual but this is someone who you know their feelings are much deeper than how they are presenting themselves okay so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say so we have the hierophant and this is taurus energy so you could be dealing with the taurus next you have the ace of swords air energy 
And finally, we have the King of Cups, Water Energy. So with the King of Cups, this person still has a lot of emotions for you, still waters run deep. Um, and with the King of Cups, it's like they're trying to control their emotions. They don't want it to be obvious or to be seen how they feel truly. But this is someone who, it's it's like they have unconditional love for you. It's like they'll always love you. This is definitely someone who holds space for you. And a part of them is hoping that you guys can get back together. Um, with the Hierophants, it's like this connection that they had with you taught them a major lesson. And they even feel a spiritual connection to you. So there's something very unique about the connection they shared with you. Um, but with the Ace of Swords, again, we're seeing communication, initiating communication. So we do see this person um, opening up lines of communication. They may even talk about... Um, the, the memories they share with you is this reminiscing energy it's like they may want to remind you of the good times you guys had together and um you know I, I do see them being quite generous with their communication it's like they're extending an olive branch here to open up those lines okay so i'm going to pull out an olive um an oracle card for you um pisces Okay, so the card says nothing is yet set in stone mutable moon so this person does feel like things could change you guys could get back together you guys could work things out so they just feel like the situation can still be changed okay so i'm going to pull out another card for you pisces God says true love this is the romance of a lifetime so this person sees you as their true love it's like they'll always love you there's that unconditional type of love yeah very pure energy um and they still love you okay so i'm going to pull out another card for you pisces God says enthusiasm and friendship a single rose can be my garden a single friend my world so this person still wants a friendship it's like there's this energy of wanting to just be close to you they're enthusiastic also about reigniting friendship um, but they still have love for you it's like there's still romantic feelings there for you and they still miss the friendship aspects as well of your connection okay so this person to them it feels like the breakup is not permanent they, they feel like it's still it can be changed the fact that there's a breakup okay so that's what i'm seeing for you pisces i hope you have a really really good day pisces bye pisces